Hi everyone, thanks for uh, stopping by our YouTube channel. This is Kevin from PCI Geomatics and today's demonstration is on Smart Geofill. Um, the previous demonstration that we did was only showing how we copied three bands from a cloud-free portion of a data set over to uh, a data set that had clouds in it. Uh, in this example, what I want to do is I want to show you how you can actually copy all of the layers uh, over and with one click. It's very simple to do. Let's get started. So what I have here is a Landsat 8 image over uh, Miami. So I have it loaded here. I've imported all of the uh, channels from the Landsat 8 data set into a single uh, PIX file. So if I uh, browse to my uh, file here, my uh, location where I have my files, you can see that the uh, uh, original metadata file and all of the different bands uh, are still there, but I've actually imported them all into a single PIX file. This is important in the case of your destination layer. Uh, you can use the uh, non-imported um, uh, TIFF, raw TIFF files uh, off the USGS website for your source, but your final destination layer has to be a PIX file because we have to write to disk uh, to a final format. So I've loaded up that image and I have a cloud-free portion of this, uh, this area. You can see here on the screen that I've got uh, downtown Miami, which has some uh, clouds in it. So I'm going to load up the March 23rd data set, which was uh, about a month uh, before this uh, April 24th image was collected. I'll load up the uh, multispectral channels and I'll just uh, color balance uh, these two. I'll apply the same uh, lookup table here. Make it the same uh, brightness. And you can see that I've got uh, some problems with my April 24th image. So what I want to do is uh, copy from the uh, March 23rd data set and paste that into my uh, April 24th data set. Now to do this successfully using Smart Geofill, the layers that you want to paste to have to be visible in the tree list. So right now, the only layers that I have visible are four, three, and two, or the channels rather. Channels four, three, and two. These are the natural color. These are the channels that allow me to have a natural color composite. So if I want to copy to all the other layers, um, and, it, and it's, uh, it's very uh, great uh, in this case because we have all of the bands that are corresponding exactly from March 23rd to April 24th. So when I do my copy paste, it's going to paste the actual uh, proper band to the right proper destination. So for example, band one coastal aerosol uh, will go to band one coastal aerosol from uh, 24th. So what I need to do is I need to load the bands that I don't have currently viewed. So I'll load band one, band five. I can load them as grayscale or I can load them as RGB. It doesn't really matter. Uh, the important thing is that they're visible in the tree list. So I'll load those all up. <clears throat> now if I switch to the Maps tab, uh, those are there. And I'll essentially do this exactly the same way as I did before with my copy-paste. So what I have here, I'll just turn the top layer off right now. I have the, uh, the area that's got clouds in downtown Miami. I'll right-click on New Area, create a new vector layer, use Whole Polygon, and I'll use the georeferencing from one of the layers. It doesn't matter which one. They all have the same projection and so on. And uh, so uh, very quickly, I'll just uh, make a polygon over some, some of these clouds here so you can see the, uh, the effect. I'm just gonna quickly sort of draw along here. And uh, close my polygon out by uh, double clicking near the end. And I'll pull up the uh, Smart uh, Geofill panel. So here's the uh, Smart Geofill panel. So uh, let's just think about this for a second. What I want to do is I want to uh, use the, I'll uncheck the, the source because I just want to specifically uh, choose what I want to copy from. So the one I want to copy from is the March 23rd layer, which is uh, this one here. And where do I want to paste to? I want to paste to that PIX file. So that's the PIX file that I've created from April 24th. And uh, here's the important uh, feature. If you want to copy all of the bands over, so from the March 23rd to April 24th, you just click on Paste to all loaded layers. And uh, I'll just uh, put down the blend width to one. So I'll copy, 
and paste. This takes a few uh, moments here to uh, copy all of the uh, layers and, and paste them in. And uh, just like that, all of the channels from the uh, March 23rd data set are now in the uh, April 24th data set. So I'll just close this panel out and show you that. So here's channels 432, which are obviously uh, pasted over from uh, the 23rd of March, uh, which are now cloud free. And if I turn this other layer off, you can see here that the uh, band, number band number nine, which is the uh, cloud band, the Cyrus uh, band is uh, copied over. You can see the same uh, sort of uh, information, the same uh, wavelengths. Uh, this is the uh, shortwave uh, infrared one and two. Those have been copied over, the near infrared and the coastal aerosol. So just like that, uh, very easy to do with, uh, with uh, mixing uh, different data sets. And uh, hope, hopefully that helps you understand uh, how to use the Smart Geofill to uh, copy and paste uh, not just the layers, uh, certain layers, which, which can be done individually, but uh, very easily uh, all of the layers can be copied over to the uh, destination layer. So thanks for watching this episode of uh, PCI uh, Tech TV and uh, be sure to subscribe and keep watching for uh, more videos and let us know if there's anything that you'd like to see uh, just shoot us a, an email at uh, info at PCI Geomatics or uh, drop us a message on our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot.